Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. Today I wanted to present a very short video dealing with the temperature distribution in the sun. Let us begin with sunspots. They appear at lower elevation than the photospheric layer. This has been known since the days of Wilson in the late 1700s, as you can learn in this paper. At the same time, the standard solar model claims that sunspots are cooler than the photosphere because of their reduced emissivity. Therefore, it is natural to hypothesize that the interior of the sun might be cooler than the photosphere. Yet in the standard model, the interior of the sun is hotter than the photosphere. It is a quandary, therefore, that the astronomers try to maintain that sunspots have a lower temperature. But what about the solar interior? Does it make sense to argue that it is cooler than the photosphere? Clearly the answer is no, and for two reasons. First, that sunspots have a lower emissivity is unlikely to be linked to temperature, but rather should be a manifestation of their underlying structure. They are more metallic in nature, and therefore their normal directional spectral emissivity will be lower as we saw in this video. That is why they appear cooler, but in reality they are at approximately the same temperature as the photosphere. How can the question be resolved? Are the sunspots actually cooler or not? We should be able to get a definitive answer from the Wien's displacement in sunspots. You recall from this video that the position of a black body maximum, or the Wien displacement, is directly related to its temperature. However, over the past 20 years, I have never been able to locate a thermal spectrum of sunspots, let alone one which provides a reduced frequency for the Wien's maximum. It is likely that such a spectrum does not exist. Sunspots should be characterized by the same temperature as the photosphere. They are likely to have the same Wien's maximum, but since they act as gray bodies, they'll have a reduced total emissivity. That would account for everything and explain why sunspots appear cooler than the photosphere when in fact they are not. Secondly, we know from helioseismology that there are tremendous convection currents within the sun. We also see convection cells which constitutes the granules. These cells very much reflect Baynard convection as we saw in this video. Now let's turn for guidance to the second law of thermodynamics. Heat moves from more elevated temperature regions to regions of lower temperature. Convection currents exist in order to move heat towards the heat sink and that cannot be the solar interior. As a result, the fact that the sun has convection currents is telling us that its interior must be hotter than the photosphere. Convection is bringing up heat from the interior, and that heat gets dissipated at the level of the photosphere through thermal emission. Outer space, not the solar interior, becomes the heat sink. Thermodynamic principles and the second law must be our guide. As a result, it is not reasonable to argue that the solar interior exists at a lower temperature than the photosphere. That is all for today. If you enjoyed the video, promote the channel, mention the video to your local astronomy club, support me with a like, subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below and I'll see you soon on our next video.